Hi guys, today we're going to take a look at vraagsinne. What is a vraagsin? A vraagsin is just a question. And what this question is asking us to do is to change stelsinne to vraagsinne. But what is a little trickier is that the stelsin gives us the answer. So in our vraagsin, we actually have to scrap out the answer. So let's do number one. Die slim meisie skryf a opstel in die... Okay, so the clever girl, she's writing an essay in the library. Voor my vraag sin om uit te vind waar sy die opstel skryf. So we have to now form a question to find out where she's writing the opstel. So we know she's writing the opstel in die bibliotheek. That's the place. So in our question sentence, we should not have that in the answer. So, our question word will always be the first word in our question sentence or in our question. So, waar. Then immediately after the question word will be our verb. And what is our verb in the sentence? It is skryf. So, immediately after the question word, waar skryf. And the rest of the sentence, as is, will remain the same. Die slim meisie a opstel. So waar skryf die slim meisie a opstel? Question mark. It's a question sentence or a vraag sentence, so please put a question mark. Let's try the next one. Jan eet elke middag a toebroekie. Voor hom a vraag sentence om uit te vind wat hy eet. So the object, what is he eating? We know that he's eating a toebroekie, a sandwich. So, a tubroiki should not be part of our answer. So, we start with the question word. What? And immediately after the question word, we have our verb. And what is our verb? Our verb is it. So, what it? And the rest of the sentence remains the same. Jan elke dag. Wat eet Jan elke middag? And don't forget your question mark. Let's look at the next one. Hulle het die dier motor gekoop. We have to form a question to find out who, wie, het die motor gekoop. So what do we know? We know that hulle die motor gekoop het. So hulle should not be part, the subject should not be part of our question. So in our vraagsin, we'll start with the question word V and immediately after the question word will be our verb one. What what is our verb one here? It's our auxiliary verb hit. So V hit and the rest of the sentence remains the same in the same order. V hit die dier motor gekoop. Question mark. Next one. Ons vertrek morgen ochend na Durban. We moving to Durban tomorrow morning or we going to Durban tomorrow morning. Voor my vraag sin om uit te vind, wanneer ons vertrek? When we are going to depart to Durban, or go to Durban, or travel to Durban, whatever the case might be. So when are they going? We know they're going morgen ochend, tomorrow morning. So morgen ochend should not be in our vraag sin. What do we start with? We start with our questions, our, sorry, our question word, wanneer. And immediately following the question word will be, the verb. What is our verb in the sentence? Vertrek. To go. To leave. So, wanneer vertrek. And the rest of the sentence will be exactly as is in the same order. Wanneer vertrek ons na Durban? Question mark. Last one. Let's see if my theory holds. Die hond het in die tuin geblaf. Voor my vraag sin om uit te vind waar die hond geblaf het. So, the dog is barking in the garden. Where is the dog barking? In die tuin. So, in die tuin is not supposed to be in our vraagsin. Because that is the answer. Because we need to find out or we need to ask a question to find out where the dog is. So, what do we start with? We start with the question word. Waar. Then immediately following the question verb, sorry, question word <laughs> will be the verb. And that is our first verb. Hit. So, waar hit, And the rest of the sentence remains the same in the same exact order. 
waar het die hond geblaf? And you don't forget your question mark. And you've successfully changed all style sinner. And that is it, guys. I will see you in the next one.